Okay, so now what we're going to work on is working with instruments in Ableton Live. Now, technically, the drum rack, the sampler, the sampler, those are all instruments as well. So I guess I should say um, third-party VST and instruments and things like that. So now it's time for a bass line. So what we're going to do is um, if you have a VST folder with your VSTs in, if you added it like, you, like I um, showed you at the beginning of the course, they're going to be over here under plugins. So you're going to open up your plugins. Um, and you're going to find a VST that you want to use. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a MIDI track. And I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use Nexus for my bass line. So I'm going to drag in Nexus. It's going to open up. Um, I'm just going to basically go to a basic um, sine wave. I'm going to turn off the reverb. Okay, so that's what that bass sounds like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play around. Um, I figured out a little quick bass line here a minute ago. For this section, so I'm just gonna play the bass line with the with the sample and the drums, and then we'll figure out how to lay it down. So here we go. Okay, so something very simple, um, not too complicated. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and hit record as usual in a clip and I'm going to record that bass line. So here we go. So this is a quick um, four bar loop. And when you record instrument or when you record a MIDI track, um, you know if it over if you go over to four bars, you want to just make sure look at the clip um, and drag it back so it ends right at um, at five. So basically, from one to two is one bar, two to three, three to four, and four to five. So it needs to end at the five. Um, I've seen people sometimes end at the four, thinking that's four bars, but that's actually three. So it has to go all the way through um, bar four to bar five. Um, so that's that. Just a habit, like I said, just color coding everything. Um, so I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna fold it. A fold is a cool feature if you're if you're playing notes um, and you want to move a note around or something like that. If you click fold, what it's gonna do is it's gonna show just the notes that you've played. So uh, there's only three notes that I played in this bass line. So when I click that, it basically compresses it, makes the notes bigger, so I can drag it, you know, drag it, make them longer, shorter, um, and just see those notes better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quantize that and then I'm gonna mute um, the sample one more time I'm gonna see how it sounds with the drums or just the drums and the bass okay so that sounds pretty cool um, and what I'm gonna do now is since the it's kind of sound, the bass line sounds a little bit robotic and it's so simple. I want to add more groove to that. So I'm going to use the same groove as I did for the drums. So I'm just going to go down here um, to my groove, my clip groove. I'm going to select that SP1200 again. I'll select that and we'll see how it sounds together. So that sounds pretty good. Now let's bring the sample in and see how it all sounds together. Okay. So that's how you work with um, third-party VST instruments. And it's pretty much the exact same as using an instrument from Ableton, which we have already covered by chopping the samples and, and creating our own um, drum loops from the from the drum rack. So the next thing we want to get into is actually arranging your song in the um, in the clip view, and then recording that into the arrangement view, doing a final mix down, and then adding some just mastering on the, on the master track as well.